hello 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 everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel if you are new to the channel please subscribe and if you're a returning subscriber thank you and god bless you it's as if every stone that is being thrown at kabiesi kabiesi finds a way to defend himself so that the stone will not touch him so we heard allegedly of kabiesi trying to tie the knot with a servant wife yeah uh princess peju so and this has raised a whole lot of dust on the internet people a place uh, people are like what is really happening we are talking about you sending the six if our wives out of the palace and you are still talking about getting more wives claiming that it is the right of uh, it is your right as the first class monarch or as a monarch to get married to as many wives as you wanted okay so and <laughs> This has been um let's say kukere talk, yeah, kukere waka talk for inside the palace because it didn't give joy, yeah. So and uh, recently uh Princess Beju Be celebrated her birthday and Kabiesi surprised her in a way that people were even suspecting that Kabiesi might have been the one that hosted the the this thing that threw the birthday party for her. So, you know, but the woman is already made you get hmm. So my correct correct people according to what we heard allegedly only of if you'd already push ayaba page you out of his life over king naomi's return so we heard that akure people they started asking questions they are looking for something that they are going to hold on to at this point kbs's relationship with queen naomi is now giving them sleepless nights they are not so proud of it they don't even want it to exist anymore so and they have been looking for a perfect something that they will hold on to and do not tell kabi see that it is by fire by force something that he must give their daughter total freedom but others believe that kabi is still playing them one zero okay that kabi is very smart at what he does so when uh this alleged information got to kabi see that uh Akure people are asking questions that they are asking questions about uh, Princess Peju that KBAC is about to tie the knot with. So KBAC decided to clear the air on that, okay? So according to what we heard allegedly, KBAC told them that it is not on the basics of love or on the basics of getting married to her that uh, Princess Peju is just his friend. That everything whatsoever they see him and uh, Peju doing, that all of those things are, you know, friendship stops, okay? That he doesn't have anything attached to it, no strings attached, no uh, extra intimacy or something. That he knows where his heart belongs. That people should stop mocking him. That, yeah, it is true that he has a thing with women, but that doesn't doesn't mean that he he is now like a, a proper as an, a core womanizer that cannot even uh, um, understand himself again if not things that concerns women okay so he gave Akure people reply that what he had with Princess Peju is just friendship uh, deals that it, there is no strings attached that his heart still yearns for Queen Naomi and Queen Naomi is the only woman he want to be in his that he wanted to be in his life for the rest of his life. Okay, so he already addressed this, you know, claiming that he doesn't have anything uh, uh, um, romantic to do with Princess Peju. So my correct correct people, this has raised dust as well because people are like don't just use because you want to bring queen naomi back and cover what everybody do already see that they can see the look in here i don't know if you have seen that their picture like seriously if you see the way the both of them we are standing here ah god and that was what made a lot of people start you know talking 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 concerning all of these things okay so we heard allegedly that uh, uh, KBAC gave this reply and people are like, don't use because you just wanted to bring Queen Naomi back into the palace and will not even say it the way it is because they don't want Queen Naomi to ever suffer. Uh -huh. They don't want in a way Queen Naomi or herself to come back into the palace. And the next day, that's uh, Princess Peju that you said that you don't have anything to do with her, that is just friendship on the friendship ground zone. They will now see the both of you together. Uh, hey. uh, they will now see the both of them together in a romantic way. Whereas he do already tell everybody, say they don't have anything in common. So they are now like telling KBAC to be extra, extra, you know, um, distant with his words, with what he tells Akure people because they are going to hold him down with his words. But KBAC was still very much serious about what he said. And according to what we heard, that his best, everything about him now, uh, his priorities is about bringing Queen Naomi back into the palace of Ife. 
that is what if he's going into sleep that is the prayer that he normally pray that is his prayer point and if he wake up from sleep that as well is it the, is the prayer that he normally uh, that, uh, that he normally uh, pray and what he wished that it will happen under a twinkle of an eye so my correct correct people only of if according to what we heard had been able to clear his uh, own side of the story concerning all of these things going on uh, between him and princess Peju in the palace of ife so according to him the palace is wide open for queen naomi to come in that queen naomi can come in without even having a double or dub uh, a second thought or double mind that he is really really serious about the uh, about what he's telling them that whatsoever they see him and Peju do that it is just on a friendship zone and i don't know why a lot of people don't believe what he said go on the comment sections you will see lots and lots and lots of comment uh, comments there people doesn't believe kbac at this point it's not that if he made other announcements concerning other things that they will not believe him everybody will believe him but this matter that concerns kbac and women they don't believe him because they are like kbac can just wake up and decide to change all of a sudden uh, change into what we don't know and decide to go and bring princess peju into the palace of ife and people will now be like eh with chevy we thought you said you don't have anything to do with her why do you now marry her or something so they said it had happened before so let history not repeat itself because when he started doing things with miriam we heard that like they confronted him and asked him but kabiesi was like it's just friendship now that there is nothing attached and all of those stuff but look at what is happening now there are so many things attached even to the extent that kabiesi can no longer you know take them out of his uh, 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 his body or his self uh, hang, losing them out of his distance is now very hard for him so people are always pinpointing at that particular incident you know and few other incidents and are saying that no that KBSC cannot be trusted when it involves women but anyway let's just keep watching out what we unfold next according to what he said allegedly that whatsoever he does with princess Peju, all of them are just based on friendship uh, this thing matter is not uh, there is no no nothing attached to it nothing 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 attached to it so my correct correct people know remember that all of these things are alleged information that we gather on the internet space i am not living in the palace of if neither was i there when all of these things happened i saw on the internet space and i decided to bring to you so do what to like share and subscribe and equally drop your thoughts about this under the comment section how wanna see the whole matter as you take the grass boost i go see you now for my next upload bye bye thank you and god bless you